Yo, what's up? It's already here. Um, I'm just recording a quick tutorial on how to do lava skip without magic. Yesterday I was doing a hitless run. My run died to lava skip because I just failed to do it with water veil. And I started looking for alternatives on easier ways to do it. I had the idea to use a shield and I found out this shield, the purple flame shield, is in 1-1 right near the blue dragon's tail it's one of those items there and it has 90 um, fire absorption as you can see here even though i can't wield it um, properly to do attacks and stuff i can still block with it and it works for a few ticks and as you can see here i have 12 vitality and Without further ado, basically all you need to do is hold your shield up, run through, and roll. You can listen to a few ticks, like as if you're getting hit with the click clacks and stuff. Um, after about 5 or 6, you're gonna start taking full damage from the lava. So what I do is I just listen to the, to the clanks. And after about 4 or 5, I do a roll. And usually this roll already brings me to the stairs. So it's super safe. Um, for some reason though, it only works going from there to here. And it doesn't work on the way back. Uh, as I'm going to show you right now. But I also want to show you how to do this without rolling. Because you're going to be able to do that with Water Veil and this shield combined. But I'm, I'm gonna have to reset the video and record that part, like, separately. So, before I do that, I'm just gonna show you here, I'm um, full health. I'm even gonna cast Water Veil. And it's still, I'm not gonna be able to go to the other side. You're gonna see, you're, you're gonna hear a few clangs, and then I'm gonna start taking full damage. See? So that's how the skip goes. I'm gonna show you the other way around as if you were doing the skip though. So take a look at this. Okay, so here's the skip with Water Veil and the Shield combined. As you can see, see I'm still 12 vitality. Um, you can probably get more. But just cast Water Veil across the Shield and run through. Very easy, very simple. Um, it's probably way more reliable with more um, vitality. And it's also obviously more reliable with a roll at the end. But for some reason, if you're doing no roll leveled like the run Kazuro did, you can use this strategy to do lava skip and just avoid the entire level. So yeah, very useful. Um, I'm not sure if I'm the first person to find this strategy. Probably not. But I couldn't find anything on YouTube. So I thought this would be useful to be recorded. This unfortunately is completely useless for speedruns. Because getting the purple flame shield is pretty slow compared to just YOLOing the bridge in 1-1. But since most people um, wait for the red dragon to clear the bridge out and a lot of people still go to the blue dragon and pick up items, you might as well pick up the shield and then do the skip. And it's pretty much foolproof. You can even get like 13 vitality, maybe more, um, if you want to be 100% safe. And yeah, after you do it, you just come up to the lava and set up clever red ring for armor spider and you should be good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'll be streaming today in case you're watching this as the video comes out so make sure to check the description follow me over at twitch we're doing demon souls hitless runs and um yeah like share subscribe all that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time